Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another finish with me video. I am going to do my second cubby finish. Yay! On another 4x4 canvas block. This is the hands-on design love freebie that you can get on her blog. I will link it in the description box below. I stitched it on a Silk Weaver Solo 14 count Ada. The red is Weeks Dye Works Candy Apple and the red and the pink, the red and the pink. The white and the pink are DMC. I forget the pink color. I wanna say 893, something in that right there. So I'm gonna do from beginning to end again since everyone seemed to like to see that when I did the other one. Very first thing, I need to iron this and cut it. So when I iron, I spray it with water first and I spray it on the back. And I've, obviously I'm doing that off camera, but I douse it pretty good as you're gonna see. Yeah, I mean, I, I did that, wet that pretty good. And now remember, I use a hoop for these small pieces. And you can see the mark, it will come out. I have never, and then I just go over it. I have never had a problem, you know, knock on wood, with getting hoop marks out of fabric. And you would think that Ada would be um, more difficult because it is a thicker fabric than linen or even weave. But you can see they're coming right out. I really love this piece of Ada. Yeah, it was a Silk Weaver solo that I got when Jill and I went to Silk Weaver in October last year. Then I flip it over. Perfect. Okay. Now I have to figure out, let me, let me unplug the iron. Whoops, wrong one. I have a hot glue gun plugged in because I'm gonna be trying to use some different glue here, folks, today. Remember, I use the Sunbeam, it's like a mini iron, and I don't use steam. I forget, I'm trying to look at the number, but yeah, I got this from Amazon. Really like that iron. Works really, really well. Okay. The canvas is four by four, and I'm pretty sure this is this is three, three and a quarter, and it's probably by three and a quarter. Yes. So you're not going to see a whole ton of paper or canvas. Wait a minute, let me get my, I knew I should have got a pen. Dang it. Oh, good. There's one right here. I really tried to make sure I had everything before I started this video today, folks. So gonna write down my measurements on the back of this board let's say so if that's three and a quarter by three and a quarter I'm gonna paint the canvas red so I could that would be a quarter on each side and then I have two pieces of scrap of paper I'm not gonna do felt I have this black and white striped which I loved and then look at that red glitter oh my good god so another quarter, another quarter. Which is exactly four. So that works out then. That's gonna work out exact. Quarter, 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 three and a quarter. Yep, cool, okay. So, what size do I need to cut my mat board? Oh no, I just realized something. Okay. Unless I'm going to have it, no, I need to have like an eighth. I need to have a little bit around this. Like I literally need to have, I'm going to do it. So what would that be? Where's my measuring thing? If I go out from here, that is three and... Three and three eighths, okay. Because I don't wanna have it like this exactly right up to the edge. I wanna have, 
kind of like when you work with perforated paper and you cut, you know, you have one row that you cut. Yeah. All right. Let me flip this over so I can cut this. I'm trying to make sure everything is in the frame. Let me scoot this over so you guys can really, okay. All right, so three and three eighths. Let me. I'm actually going to first just cut a bit of the excess off of here. Oh, wait a minute. Three and three-eighths on the front, but I, I need to make sure that there's enough to wrap around the back. Okay. I'm going to try lacing the back. That should be a fun little thing to watch. Okay. So if I want to go probably an inch past that, which would be right there. Okay, that'll work. Cause see the mar I have the markings on here, that's an inch, so. I should just have my trash can open for trash. And I have to say, it's a lot easier to be able to eyeball the measurement you want on Ada, seeing the holes and stuff, than it is on Even Weaver Linen. Um, I know I've been talking about Ada a lot. You guys probably, if you're on Stitch Mania, you saw my auction. Boy, did that garner a lot of comments that I didn't really uh, care to hear. Everybody's got an opinion, right? Everybody's got an opinion about what you should do about whatever. But yeah, love Ada. I really think it has gotten a completely bad rap in the needlework industry, and I'm not really sure why. Now, I'm not talking about the Ada you get at like, the craft store. A hand-dyed Ada is amazing. Like, this is just amazing. And everything looks just as beautiful on Ada as it does on anything else. Okay. Where's my mat board? All right, so I need to cut my mat board. Three and three eighths. Was that right? Yeah, three and three eighths. And I hate this part. I hate trying to cut this mat board straight. I actually just ordered a Fiskars heavy duty cutter like this where you can slide it, but it will cut through chipboard and mat board and stuff. And it was like 60 bucks on, on Amazon, completely worth it. I'm just gonna use between my YouTube money and um, money I've sold stash recently. Yeah, I said I gotta, I gotta get that. All right, three and three eighths. And I'm pretty sure it's very similar to what Priscilla uses to cut her mat board. Like, yeah, that didn't even cut all the way through. I hate that. And I can see that's crooked. And I, maybe I need a, a sharper blade. Now see, the Fiskars thing that I ordered, it has a self-sharpening blade. So you never have to replace it. So yay to that. All right. This should be, God, let's hope that's straight. <laughs> let's put it on here and see. Now I meant to get, I think I have a needle here, yeah. I meant to actually get a pin though because yesterday I watched, I'm gonna go grab one or I'm gonna grab another needle. I'm gonna pause the video, I'll be right back.
Okay, I watched a lot of YouTube videos yesterday on lacing and framing your pieces because after this one I'm filming a framing tutorial and I picked up some little tips that I'm going to try to do to help me center the piece on the mat board. Now I think I'm going to not use any um, padding on this one. I'm just going to have it totally flat. But what I am going to do is I'm going to find the center. It's definitely easy to find the center of that. So I am just going to line up here and draw an X on this. And this will give me my center. And I'm going to take, I just had a needle in my hand. Boy, oh, okay, there it is. I'm like, I've done this again. I'm going to really try to, I didn't have any pins, believe it or not. I need to get some of those. Um, my God. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm really going to try to poke a hole or at least... Yeah, this might not have been the best way to do this. I should have, I don't know. I just need something that I can, oh my God. I need something that will, um, yeah, that's not helping. What am I doing? I need something that's going to I want to be able to stick the needle in that. Yeah, that, that mat board is... Because what I want to do is I want to be able to stick my needle through the center of this, which is this, this X in the middle, and then stick it here. And that way when I start to lace on the back, that was the idea anyway, when I start to lace on the back, it would be even, but I should be able to lace and then eyeball it. Okay. Now, I watched a bunch of lacing tutorials too, and folks, this is just the way I'm gonna do it. This is not the end all and be all to lacing. There are plenty of people that do, um, they put pins in the side and all that. No, I, I need something that's, um, something that's fairly simple. And this is a pretty small piece, so I'm just going to start doing it and wing it. Oh, you know what I did want to do, though? I wanted to try something. I wanted to try cutting each corner at a 45 degree angle, which helps to take the bulk away of the, you know, because with lacing, I'm not going to be mitering the corners. So we're going to try that. And hopefully that will, um, okay. Yeah, we're, we're just going to try that. Like I said, I wanted to try it with something small first before I tried doing that technique. On a bigger piece like my um, like my deck the halls piece that I'm going to be doing the framing tutorial on here soon. But yeah, I have to say. Finishing, time consuming, let me tell you. All right. I don't know which way it goes this way. Okay. Why is that mat board bent like that? Probably because I tried to friggin' stick a pin in it. All right, I just have white sewing thread here that my husband had. 
and I cut off a really long piece because I don't know how much I'm going to need. I'm going to tie a knot in the end Wow, this is like a giant pain in the ass, actually. This is like a lot more difficult than it looked on the video. But the reason why I wanted to do it was because, and I know I'm not doing it right, and my needle just pulled out. I, you know what, forget it, forget it. I'm making this much more difficult. Do I even have my tape out here? No, I don't think I do. I know with practice that this would, I would probably get better at that, but Jesus Christ. Okay, forget that. Um, I'm trying to think, how do I want to glue this down? Actually, if I could really have done that pinpoint thing in the center, that would have worked. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna use the tape. So let me go get the tape and I'll be right back. Okay, I forgot I had the tape because I was going to um, possibly use it when I do my framing. I don't wanna cut that tape with those scissors. Just use kitchen scissors because I don't want my good scissors to have sticky crap on them. And actually, remember I wasn't going to miter the corners? Shit. Oh, you know what? I did that wrong. I'm going to... I need to put the corners down. Like that. Because I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to miter the corners now that I'm not... Um... I just got to make sure it's lined up again. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I did a pretty good job lining that up. Because it's pretty much, you know, one square. Eh, it's a little crooked on the bottom. Let me see if I can move that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good, though. Okay. So, I need to go get DMC to match that brown. I will be right back. Okay, I decided to get DMC 435. It is a tan brown shade. Just wanted something that was um, somewhat close to the fabric. So I'm going to stop talking here so I can speed up when I miter the corners on this.
You know what? I just realized something. You would think I would know this by now. I should have painted the canvas first and been letting that dry while I'm mitering the corners. Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> so, let me get a paper plate like I did the other day. I am going to be painting the canvas. This Deco Art Americana color, it's called Cherry Red. And they had, you know, there's so many shades of red and stuff. It's amazing. It feels like there's still paint in here. There is. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, you can play a drinking game with this. How many times I've said, let me pause. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pour some of this paint in here. Ooh, yeah, that's a good color. And I'm gonna get to painting. Okay, I know I'm gonna have to do a second coat. So while that is drying, let me try to finish mitering the corners on the uh, stitched piece. I'm gonna actually set, I'm gonna pause one more time. Okay, it's funny the little tips and tricks we wind up picking up, isn't it? Like my husband has a fan in his bedroom so when I paint stuff, I went, I went in just now and set it in his bedroom on his bed in front of that fan so it'll dry quicker. Okay, now that the, the corners are all mitered, it's a teensy bit crooked, but it's gonna do. I am going to put that aside, still waiting for the paint to dry. I am going to cut the scrapbook paper that I'm going to use. Gotta love that red, that glitter. And Hobby Lobby, because that's where I got it, they have it in every color of the rainbow. I got a light pink piece too that is just gorgeous. Okay. I'm gonna cut the first piece. The first piece, let's see, needs to be four 
minus, that's a quarter and a quarter, that's three and a half. Is that right? Three and a half, so it needs to be three. All right, we're gonna try, because I got plenty of paper. I have a feeling that, yeah, I miscalculated. Wait a minute, where's the, because this is how big. Again, I'm glad I have another piece of paper because I messed that up. Oh, I need to go bigger. Okay, wait a minute. This is three... Three and three eighths. So if I'm gonna do three and three eighths, that leaves me with only one, two, three, five eighths. So one, two, three, four. There isn't going to be enough. How did, how did I not realize that? It's going to be like eighths. Okay, so three and three, so an eighth. If I subtract an eighth, and that's an eighth and an eighth. So four. Lord. Let me just cut this four by four and then go backwards out of that. An eighth is probably one of those lines. Let me see. No, that's a quarter inch. So half of one of those lines is an eighth. See what that looks like. Yeah, that's pretty. I might be able to cut that a little bit more. Yeah, I want to be able to see the friggin' paper. Oh no, I don't want to cut that one a little more. I want to cut this a little more.
Maybe I should have the stripes going this way. I don't know. What do you think? Can you even see that? Not really. <laughs> you know what? I don't even know if I like that with that black and white paper. I liked it when in the beginning. Oh my God. I know what I'm going to do. Instead of this black and white paper, wait a minute, I'm going to pause. I forgot I had this piece of felt. It's white with red hearts on it. I think that will look much cuter than that black and white striped paper. So now let's cut the paper. Let's cut this felt. Where's my cutter? Here we go. I got a serious mess kicking here, folks. All right. So four. That's three. Three and three eighths. So that needs to be, there's an eighth, there's an eighth. What is the size of the paper? Paper. All right. See what that looks like. I did a good job cutting the paper, the red glitter paper, to go on that. That's going to look fine. This needs to be bigger. this is going to go on maybe I just need to do this four by four that's how I'm going to do that and see what that looks like Kind of cute, right? Yeah, I like that. Now, how I am going to try to um, glue everything down, I'm going to try to use hot glue. Does hot glue work on paper? I sure hope it does. Um, or will it burn the paper? Yeah, that's going to look really cute. Let me go get the canvas and see if it's dry yet. Yes, the canvas was dry. And so now I get to paint another coat on that. Wow, let me move my stitching out of the way. If I drip paint on that, I'm going to scream. Like, really?
Okay, I'm gonna put that back in front of the fan, so I'm gonna pause one more time. Okay, while that is drying the canvas, I am going to assemble the rest of it, so then all I have to do, glue down, it's done. Now, I am going to try this, and I pray to God it works. I'm gonna to try to use hot glue instead of the tape, instead of tacky glue. Um, this is pretty thick paper, actually, because of the glitter. So I'm gonna... The only thing about hot glue that I know of is that it dries really fast. So, I'm hoping Ooh, that worked. Ooh, that worked really good. I need to go get another glue stick. God damn it. I need to I need to pause again. How many times have I paused? Have you been counting? It has to have been at least 10. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, went and got another hot glue stick. I'm really impressed how good that worked and that it really stuck down. Now I'm gonna put hot glue on the back of this. And you gotta move kind of fast and oh my God, what the hell, okay. And this is not working now. I'm gonna have to peel that off because I know that's gonna be dry. God damn it. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna pause the video, peel that glue off. Because I ran out of the glue stick, it's not heated up yet. Okay, pausing one more time. Yeah, right. Okay, what's nice is the hot glue totally peeled off, which was awesome. There's a few little remnants, but nothing that is going to impede once I get the hot glue on. Now, I really wanna to try to get the hot glue around those edges so it really sticks to the paper. So let's try this again and try to move quick. You know what, I'm just gonna stick that down and see if that's gonna work. I think it did. Yeah. I can see a little bit of glue up here. I can probably peel that off. Damn it. Okay. Where I actually put too much glue and it started coming out the top. And I don't want that to be seen, obviously. Actually just, wow. I wonder if I can get it with a needle. Oh, I'm in. I'm getting it up with. I'm trying to pick it off the paper. Well, I know some of you are probably really cringing right now seeing me do this. I need 
need to get that off of there. All right, let me use, try to use this needle. There we go. Like I said, luckily I tried this on something small. Guessing I should actually go back to using the double-sided tape because I have better control over that. God, are you kidding me right now? Mm. And my nails are coming off as I'm fooling with it. Because I need to figure out, I need to do something to get, I need to glue something in there to have it stick. I need something really good that's going to stick in there. I'm going to try to square more hot glue in there, I think. This might be the kiss of death, but no, you know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to go get some tacky glue. I'll be right back. I'm telling you, no tutorial ever goes smooth from beginning to end. Ever, ever, ever. It never does. I'm trying to squeeze out some... There we go. Okay, I got tacky glue. I'm going to try to squeeze it in there. gonna let that get tacky for a second I meant I'm gonna use this needle cuz I'm gonna be throwing this needle away cuz I got glue, hot glue all over it and everything else I need something to wipe that Wow. Jesus. And I wonder if I can use one of these gloves. Should have actually worn gloves to begin with because I wound up ruining two of my nails. Hopefully that will dry clear and you won't be able to see that. Need to put, you know, you're going to be able, god damn it. I don't think that's going to dry clear enough and it's not even sticking. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to dry clear enough where you're not going to be able to see it. I'm trying to wipe the excess. I need to have I need to sit that on a book though, a book on top of it. So it will um Real life folks, you're always going to get the true story on my channel. You can best believe that. Mistakes, mess ups, all a part of my daily living, it seems, when I do these tutorials. Actually, I'm getting it off. I do. I just need to get... Well, I need to try to scrape that off. Oh my God. Yeah, I've, like, totally ruined my nails. Um, I need to set a book on top of that. Maybe I can trim that. Where are my scissors? Just trying to trim. There was like little fuzzies from me rubbing on the felt. And 
once it's on there, nobody's probably even going to see that anyway. What happened was it got glitter from the red paper onto the felt. Yeah, I need to set a book on that. Okay, I'm going to pause and hopefully when we come back, the canvas will be dry. This will be dry so I can attach it to the canvas. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I have been trying to figure out many different ways of trying to cover up that spot because the glue did not dry completely and even when you when I put it on the canvas you're probably not going to be able to see it but it bugs me so I actually tied this little bow I was thinking about putting the bow in the corner but I'm like, how do, where do I put the rest of the ribbon? Unless I cut the ribbon, I could cut it really short where it just hangs over. I just wanted that bow like right there in that corner and probably try to shove it down in there. Yeah. Um, let me try to cut. Oh my god. Well, first of all, I don't even have this glued on there yet. My finger keeps sticking to that ribbon. Let's try to cut that off of there. I kind of wanted to make them even. Let's see if I can do that. Wow, really? No, and you just keep cutting and cutting. Luckily, I have more ribbon if I need to. Try to cut that now that I have it off of there. It's kind of cute, I guess. To kind of hide it, maybe. But see, it actually doesn't even really hide it because it goes all the way over here. I'd have to do something like that. Which, that doesn't even look right. Now, maybe if I do that and then glue the ribbon down on either side like this. If I can even twist it like that. Glue the ribbon down on each side. Would that even look right? I don't know. I don't know what looks right anymore. <laughs> um, so, yeah, little bow or not. You know what? I think I'm just going to say forget it and just chalk this up to... I'm going back to using the double-sided sticky tape. I mean, it's a pain in my butt to try to get the back off, but at least it sticks and I don't have glue residue anywhere and don't mess up. So, okay. I'm, the canvas is painted, and that's even kind of streaky. I don't know why after two coats. Um, I probably could have done a third coat, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put the double-sided sticky tape on the back of this. Where's the tape? Let me move that. Yeah, at this point, I just kind of want to be done with this now. Okay, you know, I'm going to pause. You guys know what sticky tape I'm going to stick on the back of this and put it on the canvas. I'll come back with the final product. Okay, guys, here is the final product. After all of that, like I said, the very top, and you can see it right here. 
But once it's in the cubby and turned sideways or whatever, people probably are not going to be looking at it up close, as close as I am. So they're not going to see that. And I hope to just continue to get better at doing these kinds of finishes. Um, yeah, none of these are perfect. I haven't done one that's been perfect, and I probably won't. That's just, yeah, it just doesn't happen like that. But I hope to continue to get better and better. So, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in my next video.